Hey there stampers, this is Sherry Roth from stamptreasures.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada and I'm excited to be here today to share this card with you. Um, this is my card swap for the Greek Isles incentive trip this year. So I made a bunch of these and I thought I'd show you how. I just love how it turned out, love the colors, love everything about it. So, okay, so first of all, we are using products from the Noble Peacock Suite. So the Royal Peacock stamp set, um, we're using the So Very Proud of You, and then the Coordinating Dies. I'm using this gorgeous um, feather that's in here. In addition from that suite, we'll also be using the Noble Peacock foil sheets. These foil sheets are stunning. I'm not sure how well the camera is showing them to you, but you get two sheets of each of the three colors. There is Old Olive, Blueberry Bushel, and pretty peacock. So those are the three colors that you get. You get two sheets of each. You can see that I've used quite a bit. I've, that's all I've got left. And another little piece that we're going to use today for my old olive. Okay, and we'll use an, a few other products as well um, that I will point out as we go along. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of old olive foil and I'm going to grab my die and we're going to cut that first. So I'll bring in my die cutting machine and I'll just pop this on here. So I've got about an inch and a half, I think is about, is about the width of the strip of foil that I'm using here. And I'm just going to pass it through once and then pass it through twice. It is a little bit more of a detailed die and it'll just allow it to pop out a little bit easier. Okay, while we've got the big shot, I'm gonna set that aside. While we've got the big shot here, or our die cutting machine, we are going to do some embossing. So I have a piece of shimmer white cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five. And I forgot to grab my folder, so just bear with me for a moment. Here it is. Okay, and we are going to use the Scripty embossing folder. So this is a new 3D embossing folder. Now, if you have the big shot from when we carried it, um, these 3D embossing folders are a little thinner than our old dynamic folders. So you will need a shim, which is available to purchase, and I'll put it in the description below. But if you have the embossing mats, let me pull them out so I can show you what it looks like. So do you remember these, the Big Shot embossing mats that came with this white platform and this blue rubber? And then it also had this gray foam mat as well, um, or rubber mat. You can use this rubber mat as well. So what you would use is you'd use your regular platform, you'd put down the gray mat, you put down your cardstock in your folder, line that up, and then you just use one cutting mat, okay? And it works perfectly. So it's just the right thickness and you'll get this beautiful script, okay? So that is one way that you can do it. But like I said, if you don't have those embossing mats, that's no worries. You can pick up one of those other um, shims that's available. And I, like I said, I will post that in the description below. Just move this out of the way. Okay, so now we'll bring this back and pop this out. And I want to do it carefully so I don't rip any of those pieces off. And then I'll just give it a poke here to get it started. There we go. Just one little piece left to poke out. Oh, and it's a stubborn one. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in some of the other pieces that we need. So we are going to use an old olive card base. So this measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll fold along that score line. And then I've got a piece of Pretty Peacock, one of my favorite new in colors. That measures three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we need a two inch circle. Because this is actually going to be covered over, here's a little tip. 
if you know that your layer is going to be covered over and you need a punched shape from the same color cardstock, punch it out of there. You won't see it from behind and you won't see it from the front. So there's a little tip for you to conserve cardstock. So now I'll just add my embossed piece, making sure that my words are going the right way. And we'll just have about a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. And then I'll add this circle on here. And we want it oh, about there. Okay, now before we do this, there's a couple other things we wanna to do to this piece before we add it to our card base. So what we're gonna do is just set that aside. I'm gonna bring in a piece of vellum cardstock and I've got my stamp that says so proud of you. I'm gonna use Pretty Peacock ink and I'm going to stamp it on the vellum. And because the vellum isn't porous, it doesn't dry really quickly, which will give me time to sprinkle it with some clear embossing powder and then emboss it and it will look like it's embossed in Pretty Peacock. Close that up, get that out of the way. I've got clear embossing powder here. And I'm just gonna generously dump that on there. And then tap off the excess. And we'll cover that over so it doesn't get spilt. And then I'm gonna bring in my heat tool. And I'm going to heat it. So you see it starts to turn glossy. That's how you know it's done. So now you've got this beautiful, pretty peacock glossy image that I am going to punch out again using the two inch circle punch. Okay, and then we'll pull this piece in. I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive here because if you look at my card, that is going to be covered over. And we don't want to be able to see the adhesive, so that will the adhesive that I add on here will not show. So and that's going to get put in put on like this off center. And then what I've done is I have used the stitched labels dies and I've taken there's these two great um, dies in here that give you these gorgeous edges. So this one is stitched and this one is like these little X's. So I've gone ahead, it's almost like a cross stitch pattern. So I've gone ahead and I've pre-cut a strip from Old Olive. So they create great borders and I just wanted something other than just a solid piece of Old Olive cardstock going across there. So this was a perfect option. The other thing that I did is I took our pretty peacock scalloped edge ribbon. Let me grab a spool so I can show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You get this gorgeous scallop on both sides with almost like a linen look on the in the center. But it's great for creating just a little scalloped edge. So you can cut it in half and stretch, stretch the, the use of it. So I'm gonna add another strip of adhesive. Just on here, I'll add my ribbon straight across, just like so, and then I'll take this piece, actually we need to move this up a little higher. We wanna make sure that all that adhesive that we added is covered over. Okay, so we'll stick that on, and then this goes right over top to color, cover that linen look. And then we'll take some scissors, and trim off the excess. There we go. Okay, so now we are ready to stick this onto our card base. So I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive. 
I'll center it and you'll have a little bit of a larger border around a little bit more of the green showing around the edges. Okay, and then we're gonna take a bit of adhesive. Oh, there's a piece that I missed poking out here. There we go. And we'll just add a little bit of adhesive here. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of following the circle, the edge of the circle with the, with the feather. Stick that down and grab a piece of Whisper White Baker's Twine and just tie a bow. I like to tie my bows while the ribbon is still on or the twine is still on the spool. That way I waste less. And then I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot and adhere my baker's twine. So we put that on there, stick that on, flip that over, there we go. So now we just need to add some rhinestones. So for my swaps, because I didn't have enough of the Noble Peacock rhinestones, I just used regular rhinestones. But for this one, I'm going to use some of the Noble Peacock rhinestones. And if you follow me on my blog, you know that this month, the month of July, I am celebrating 15 years with Stampin' Up! And you can actually, I will actually send you a package of these Noble Peacock rhinestones free with your $50 order um, placed using the current hostess code, host code. So I'll include that in the description below. So that is valid from June 28th until July 19th. Okay, what color should we use here? Should we use green or should we use, let's use the Noble Peacock color. So I'll take one, stick it down here, and then we'll take, there's, so there is three different sizes, just like our regular rhinestones. So I've got a large one, a medium one, and then I'll put a small one up here. Perfect, there we go. So it's as simple as that. Um, I just, oh, I love that feather image so much. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in placing an order and you're in Canada, visit my, my website at www.stamptreasures.com and there's a link to shop up in the upper right hand corner. All right, thanks so much for watching.